All right, doing some maintenance on the John Deere 110. One of the recommended service things is to tighten down, or at least make sure these are tightened, the loader mast bolts. So this is the mast of the loader. At least I think that's what it's called. And it's got uh, four bolts on each side. You can see two of them right there. Sorry, the light's not the best. Right here and right here. And then it's a little hard to get to them on the inside, especially since I have the cab. Uh, so I pulled the floor up. There's the one. There's the other one down in there. And what you can see what happened to my machine is um, cracked the clutch housing and bell housing unit. It was previously repaired by the previous owner. I actually didn't know about it before I bought it. So I'm making sure these are tight and I'm actually going to put a fair bit of Loctite on them. I'm going to put Loctite and I'm also going to put a brace on here later to make this stronger because when you get a load that's heavy out front in the, in the bucket, so a heavy load in the bucket causes a rotational force like this. Meaning right here, this is being pulled this way. And the only thing really holding the loader mast part from going out is that. Because it has a frame, sort of, more for the backhoe right there. But that's below, below the center of gravity. More that's sort of at the center of gravity. So... That part down there helps, but it doesn't completely prevent the top part from moving out. So I'm going to run a piece from here down to there on a diagonal to prevent the mast from tipping this way. And hopefully take any stress off of that because that is a very expensive repair if I have to do it again. Okay, doesn't look like there's any Loctite on that one, so we Loctited it up, put it back in. Okay, getting ready to put my support in. I got four inch, four inch by half inch flat steel. Gonna put it, I think, on this loader support piece come down actually inside the cab um, and I'm gonna come right behind the brake pedals now this is a little bit too high because I can still hit it with the brake pedal if I push down so I actually want to put a little lower than that but I'm gonna have to cut through the floor cut right there and then cut the floor support too Figured out. I'm gonna attach it to this here and run it on a diagonal down to this piece. That's the frame. And that piece runs back and attaches to the backhoe. Something like that. Okay, I got that angle cut. Um, now I think what I want to do is actually put a plate of half inch along the top of this because this is tube but it's only quarter inch tube. So it might pull through that. You can see it's quarter inch tube here in the end. So I'm thinking I might weld a piece of half inch and then weld that to the piece. So, All right, let's see how our 10 inch by two inch piece fits. It's not hitting. It's gonna sit in there like that. All right, I just wanna grind some of the paint off of this tube so I can weld better to it.
Yeah, not to maybe the best weld ever, but oh well. Alright, we're about ready to weld on the support. I took the rear tire off so I could weld this side of the weld that side of the plate. They turned out okay. I'm gonna put the loader bucket down on something and lift the weight off the front and off the back as well. Just in case there was anything like pulling it apart, that'll sort of be like a pushing together force. Then I'll weld it while it's pushing it together, so. I could to maximize structural strength. finally come for me to weld the floor back in I got I got that part oh, that's hard to see I got the other support welded there right in there I got these bolts back in Let's see, we'll probably get a better view right here that support there all right get it all nice and painted Okay, this side's done. Got the floor all welded back in. All right, now I want to take this brace off so I can cut it. All right, got this piece cut in half with a half inch piece taken out of it, so time to put it back in. I'm running in, uh, putting this piece in now, just to test it. I'm running into this piece here. That piece is just, just there, and I'm scraping along the side of it as I come in, so can't come in as far. I want to come back to here. I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay, we got that piece bolted in. This piece bolted back in. I'm just going to weld it. That turned out pretty nice.
one of the sparks while I was welding had uh, melded through the uh, fuel filter. Whoops. Got a little fuel leak now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, probably one of those things you maybe shouldn't be doing welding on the tractor right next to them. So I put a vice grips on the return line so I didn't lose my whole tank of fuel. I actually tried to put polyurethane sealant on it. And that didn't work. Go figure. I was just trying anything not to lose however much 10 gallons of fuel.